All right, it's fall and there are pumpkins and gourds all over the place, which means we can make toasted pumpkin seeds. All right, I'm filming now. Oh, <laughs> sorry. All right, y'all, we're gonna roast some, I wanna, not pumpkin seeds. This is, well, you would do pumpkin seeds exactly like this, but these are the seeds. These are the seeds from a couple of acorn squash. And then this, those are the seeds from butternut squash. You do them all exactly the same way. Um, I have some pumpkin seeds. They happen to be a lot bigger than these, which means by the time the pumpkin seeds got nice and toasty all the way through, these would be burned. These, however, we can do all in one batch because they're about the same size. And this is so easy. It's one of my favorite parts of fall. All right, so there is a tablespoon of uh, butter that I stuck over on a warm spot on the stove and I let it melt. And to that, we're gonna add about half a teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I think I measured half a teaspoon there. Half a teaspoon of black pepper, about a full teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and just a scant hint of cayenne pepper. All right, so let me get, we're just gonna stir that up. Here we go. And our seeds go right in there. Now a trick to getting these to work, so when you clean your pumpkin or squash or what have you, uh, throw all the bits into a colander you want to rinse them really, really well, release them from the pulp, um, which can take a minute, you know. It takes takes a minute to get it all doing whatever, getting it clean. You end up having to pick a lot of the stringy stuff out of it. Kind of, I like to hold it under the water and do it like that to get the seeds to fall off. It works really well. And then lay them out on paper towels. Get them really dry, super dry. If you don't get them dry, the seasonings, the butter and the seasonings don't really stick. And then they don't really taste like much of anything. And I've just got a baking sheet I covered with foil. You're right, that acorn squash is... Can you, I wonder if they can hear that on the video. I have acorn squash roasting in the oven and it's singing. <clears throat> all right, so then you want these all out in a single layer. That's it. Tell me how easy that is. All right, we're gonna throw this, I've got an oven set to 350 degrees. We're gonna set it, put these in there with a squash. Give this about uh, 10 minutes, and then we're gonna stir it up so it gets toasty all over. And I will be back. All right, those had, it's so hot, I can't get my camera in there too much, but those had about 10 minutes. I gave them a stir, and then we're gonna give them a few more minutes. All right, they're perfect. Gave them probably, I don't know, four minutes, possibly five. Mm. Oh, yummy. Listen, y'all, <laughs> those are so good. So a total of about 13, 14 minutes in the oven. And if you've got much bigger seeds or they're fatter, then take an extra minute or two. Be careful, that's the outer limit. You don't wanna burn them. They are ruined if they're burnt. So keep an eye on them. And again, just remember the biggest trick just to make sure they're nice and dry before you get them seasoned up. All right, there you go. That's all there is to that. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. And if you thought that video was helpful, do me a huge favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you have a second, hop on over to Patreon and check out how to support my channel even more. Again, thanks for watching.